Hola a todos, buenos días. Bienvenidos a Scala. Mi nombre es Ashley Cabas, soy venezolana y profesora de Ingeniería Civil en la Universidad de Carolina del Norte en los Estados Unidos. Hello everyone, welcome. Welcome to Scala. My name is Ashley Cabas and I'm a professor in the Department of Civil Construction and Environmental Engineering at North Carolina State University in the US. I'm the founder of the first Earthquake Engineering and Seismology Community Alliance in Latin America. And today, I will share with you how our community is building this transnational alliance to help reduce seismic risk in the region. But first, let me introduce you to some of these amazing people making this possible. Hi. Hola. Hello. Hola. 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 Hi. Hola. Hola. Hello. Hello, everyone. Hola, mi nombre es Ariadne Palma, soy de Barranquilla, Colombia. I'm Adrián Rodríguez Marek, I'm a faculty at Virginia Tech. I'm originally from Bolivia. Soy Cristina Lorenzo Velázquez, soy de Puerto Rico. I'm Jenny Ramirez, I'm originally from Ecuador. Mi nombre es Fabiola Claure, soy de Bolivia. Me llamo Verónica Cedillos, soy mexicana americana, vivo en California. Mi nombre es Ana Paula Bona, yo soy de Brasil. Soy Ashley Morales Cartagena, de Santo Domingo, República Dominicana. My name is Norman Velosky. I'm a professor of structural engineering at NC State in Hollywood, North Carolina, United States. My name is Paula Cunha. I'm from Quito, Ecuador. Me llamo Kili Gaye. I'm Haitian. I work as an investigator in neurosciences in the University of State of Haiti. My name is Cassie Gann. I am from North Carolina. My name is Felipe Portel Dutran. I am Peruvian, currently living in the U.S. I am a member of the Scala community. I'm 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 a member of the Scala community. Y yo soy parte de la comunidad Scala. I am honored to be part of the Scala community. Soy miembro de la comunidad Scala. I'm a member of the Scala community. I am very excited to be a member of the Scala community. I've seen this video so many times and I still get so excited. But before I tell you more about the vision, the mission, and the activities that we are leading within our community, I want to take a step back and give you a little bit more background. Have you ever wondered about what your contributions to the world will be? What you're leaving behind? Have you ever asked yourselves What's going to be my legacy? I think, thank you. I think that's a very powerful question. And since we are in LA, I thought that the cinematographic industry could give us a few good examples of how this very question, what's going to be my legacy, has helped uh, the main characters of our favorite movies. And I'm, I'm serious, our, our most favorite movies. Take Moana, for example. She wanted to save her village from natural hazards, so she followed her passion for being in the water until she figured out how far she could go. I'm, I'm sensing Moana is not everyone's favorite movie. I, I, it's okay, I guess I can skip uh, the few other Disney references I brought. This one, is, this is a good one. Um, what, what about these people? The, the point here is that they all had very strong origin stories. They persevere. They, they power through adversity to make this a better world. But they didn't do it alone. They found community. Someone believed in them. Someone supported them. And that's a very powerful notion. We don't have to do this alone. Our mark in the world, our legacy, ultimately needs community. And the ASCE Geo Institute, our geo profession, is a perfect example of that. I had some time to reflect on this question and think about what my contributions to the world will be in 2021 as part of the STEER program at North Carolina State University. STEER means strengthening the impact of research. Within the program, they challenged us to define our broader impact identity. 
And we academics, we spend a lot of time and efforts in defining our research identity who we are as scholars, what are our scientific contributions to our field and our profession. So one thing I learned from this program in the words of Professor, yesterday, uh, Professor Salgado's um, uh, speech, the rigor and the novelty that we bring to research are also great assets in defining our broader impacts identity. So I had a very clear idea of who my, what my research identity was. Uh, one of my long-term career goals I have is to engineer resilient civil infrastructure systems to seismic hazards. And I do that by advancing fundamental knowledge on seismic wave propagation, ground deformation, from the micro scale to the macro scale. Good. I'm also very interested in inclusion, diversity, belonging, equity, STEM education, K-12 outreach, broadening participation of minoritized students. But this interest were not connected and definitely not integrated with my research identity. So once I put my full authentic self to the equation, just like Professor Ellen Rashti asked all of us to do during her Ralph Peck lecture last year, things were clearer. I'm Venezuelan. As a Latin female faculty member, I'm personally strongly invested in broadening participation of Latin American students and women in the STEM education and the STEM workforce. As an earthquake engineer, I'm concerned about the high seismic risk in many large Latin American cities and also cities in the Caribbean, like my home city, Caracas. GEAR has also shown us in very well-documented uh, case studies the devastation that we see in recent earthquakes happening in the region. And here I'm just posting a few uh, pictures for you to see from the Ecuador uh, earthquake in 2016, Mexico in 2017, Puerto Rico 2020, and more recently the Haiti earthquake in 2021. So it became clear to me and my passion project was born, SCALA. I, where I will engineer resilient infrastructure systems uh, to seismic hazards, but I will also connect it to my passion to contribute to the reduction of disproportionate effects of earthquakes on vulnerable communities. Escala means to climb, but also to scale in Spanish. And those are the key drivers of this initiative, to help Latin American students, early career professionals, and professionals in general to reach their highest potential, while building a network that grows with our community's goals. It is our mission to build a virtual, virtual learning and collaboration environment with these four main components, community building, community engagement, educational resources, global open access educational resources, and mentorship. This hasn't been an easy or linear uh, road. Uh, actually, uh, Escala had community even before it was born. And I'm talking about the one-year partnership with the NC State Computer Science uh, Senior Design Team's collaboration. Without them, the Escala wouldn't be alive today. Uh, in fact, through phase one and phase two last year, we were able to build the basic architecture that you're going to see, and then also improve multilingual support, which was very important for us to increase accessibility to the content. And these are just pictures of the design teams that, that help us through that process. And I want to personally acknowledge Ignacio Dominguez and Margaret Hale, who without them, I couldn't be here presenting today what I'm about to present. This is super special to me. You are the first ones to see the Scala community alive. Ta-da! <laughs> um, so it's, it's functioning, it's alive. We're still working on developing content. It's part of our aim for the second year. But, but we're here, and we're here to stay, and we welcome this amazing community. You can join now. You don't need to have a Latin American bank background. If you care, and if you have skills to share, you're welcome uh, in our community. So uh, here's the, the website. You can uh, join us, as, as I said. I uh, just wanted to show a few of the features supported by multilingual support, um, uh, features. 
So in this case, we are already um, uh, on uh, Spanish, English, and Portuguese. Uh, you can access this uh, different um, features or, or content in the website and these three languages, and we're working to add Haiti and Creole. This is the place where you want to go to register and become a Scala member, as this the wonderful uh, colleagues that I showed you at the beginning. You can join a working group as a Scala member and work on things that interest you technically. You can also receive announcements from the community and have access to these uh, educational resources that we will be developing. And just as a quick example, because I have wonderful Scala members already working hard on developing this content uh, and the architecture, I will show you some of the partnerships on the map. We, will have a, we have already a members map where you can see and identify well is all this technical expertise around the world, not just in Latin America. And this is a figure or a picture of our first partners meeting, which was also uh, very uh, meaningful and, and special to all of us involved. Again, wanted to thank the people working hard behind this initiative, and this is only the beginning. I can only dream of uh, what Scala will accomplish in the following years, with your support. And then this is an example of uh, some educational resources that we're putting together, training modules, hyperlinks to open source software. Importantly, a library of Jupyter workflows with documented examples, and this is, again, a very important uh, collaboration with DesignSafe. So everything will be supported uh, by DesignSafe on this particular end, which means a lot to the Scala community as well. And then everything will be shared on our virtual environment. And here's another example of uh, some of the content generated on our Scala YouTube channel, so you can also uh, subscribe. Join our community today. As I said, you don't need to have a Latin American connection. This is your Latin American connection. And follow us on social media today. As you can see, we only have three followers, so it's a new. <laughs> and I wanted to close with this, an invitation to you to think about your legacy. What are your skills? What brings you joy? Who is your community? Scientific advancements in our respective uh, fields, geotechnical engineering, earthquake engineering, those are only half of the equation. Education and community engagement are essential to really create significant benefits to our societies. Thank you.